Forget Melrose. 90210 was a joke. It's time to get real. You're listening to The Real Realtors of the 804 with Janice Taylor, Richmond's number one award-winning realtor. Janice and the Taylor team are here to bring you answers, give you insight, and share their experience in the real estate world. And now, Janice Taylor. Hi, everyone. It's podcast number two. We did it. We got through the first one. I can't believe how fast it went. It's pretty exciting. Didn't think I was going to like it, but I think I like it. Um, So today we're going to talk about staging. This is not a credit class. It is not how to do it every time. It's just our experience in staging. Most of us, most of you all who know our team and know our listings know that they are staged to sell. And um, this will probably have a little more interaction with myself and Jennifer, David, Love staging, but yeah. When he- so they leave me out of it when it comes to staging. <laughs> I don't have the taste that it. they have. It's the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> I can do the heavy lifting. <laughs> yep. David has veto power, but he never walks in when we're staging. So same uh, thing I maintain in my marriage is veto power. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, we love it when David brings us his listings because he goes, "Hey guys, this could just be done in one week. You can do it. Come on." And Jennifer, I go over there on our consultation and it's like oh my gosh when is this guy gonna get real somebody's gotta reel him in we've got it we need longer yes (laughs) yeah it's definitely a good guy bad guy thing i walk in say how easy it's gonna be and how great the house looks and then i send these two in to uh change yeah i didn't didn't know that yeah oh Oh, yeah yeah. Yeah. he he, he drops the mic when he walks out and we yeah take that i'm like hey we'll set up that staging consult for you right away and uh Mm -hmm. then i send in the, the tough two yep so how it works for us is we, uh, once someone has committed to list with us, we basically say we're going to have a staging consultation. And um, they're so excited. What is that going to be? What's it going to be like? And we said, don't worry, you know, we're going to go room by room. Jennifer has prepared a, a spreadsheet for you and we're going to take notes. It's not going to be all typed up. It's going to be a cross-off list for you. And most of our sellers love cross-off lists. They check it, they cross it off, and most of them go, we can do everything you ask. So we go in and um, basically start at the beginning and set the tone a little bit. Like, guys, you have veto power over anything we say. And, you know, there are things that you might not want to do. And, you know, if they choose not to, that's fine. We also let them know that we carry the heavy load. You know, if they we're just asking them to mostly edit their home used to call it decluttering but now we call it editing wait is that a new term yeah we call like, it, we like, coined it like <laughs> now like like last year or two years ago it's not master it's, it's primary, primary primary bedroom which drives me crazy yeah. yes. you also can't use the term lazy susan anymore yeah. wait, for a what? corner cabinet no, no that's got its own term too because apparently susan's were really getting upset. really upset about being lazy yeah. i did not even know that <laughs> yeah. that's about, a fact yeah i think uh i was in a ryan holmes meeting meeting and oh we got to the corner gosh. cabinet i don't even remember the term she used but she goes yeah this is our you know turning turntable. cabinet turntable cabinet and i go you mean the lazy susan she, oh no we don't use lazy susan anymore <laughs> oh my goodness wow what, lazy susan got kicked to the curb yeah, yeah. <laughs> the susans of the world are kind of like the karens of the yeah, world when say, it comes to out, those Karen. turntables <laughs> yeah. what about florida room and sunroom mm-hmm. I think that's interchangeable. Yeah, I still think it is. But Florida room's kind of out. I think now most people call it sunroom, I believe. Like when you go further up the state, does it get further away from Florida room? Maybe that's it. Probably in Florida. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Florida rooms are probably one of the harder things to stage, I think, actually. Yeah, Um, not a lot of wall space. Because not a lot of wall space, but wall space and people just use them just indiscriminately, you know, for anything they want. So we really usually on our We've staging. We've staged a Florida room that housed quite a few birds before. Oh yes. yeah, we did. <laughs> yes. Oh so, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. But, and uh, a lot of cleanup on that one yes. too. Yep. yep. We did. Well, I got a little game. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's basically you guys react to some photos. Okay. And uh, for the people who can't view it, just go to the YouTube and uh, watch it there. But uh, if you're listening, so we're going to, Go through a couple photos. Oh, fun. And, and you guys are going to kind of give us it. your reaction to okay. it. Okay. And Do we give is, you the reaction that we're thinking all, in our head or yeah, what no, we would say to a client? Uh, yeah, or just in, <laughs> just in general. Yeah, so when Michael talks about sharing pictures that we haven't seen before, I get a little concerned. <laughs> 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 Nothing too bad, but definitely like, oh my gosh, type of thing. They're not, they're not great photos. Okay. So. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's the first one. Oh, yeah. 
That's a good. Uh, that's a good room to stage right there. It looks Is like my a, house. Yeah, it, it looks like, like your house. <laughs> looks like my garage at times. I know there's like 25 dogs in there. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you that aren't on uh, video right now or YouTube, it's a house full of animals. Yes. Now, what I see is not the animals. I see the fur. I smell the pee. I mean, this is my uh, rendition of how to stage this room. Well, this is a this is a house that I would send Gracie to. I would not go to right. this house. Yeah, we right. know that. Notice yes. that about you. I do not do what animals well. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Wow. That is crazy. So, yeah, I mean, we are very discreet. I will say that. We kind of read the room a little bit when we go through our consultation with our sellers. We really notice if they are an antique collector or, you know, they've got personal photos everywhere that they are just enamored with. We really take it lightly. You know, sometimes I think we, you know, make their hair curl when we suggest certain things, but we always back it up with your choice, your choice. And right. we usually get our way. I am the Columbo of staging, for those of you that know, <laughs> the back in the day of Columbo. I will be walking out of a door and I'm say, thinking more Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking out of a door backwards and going, oh, one more thing. If we could just do one more thing. And um, I know at that point their toes are curling. So that's right, one of the ready? reasons that I don't show up for the staging appointments. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. Yep. Okay, what? Oh, there's what? mannequins. Oh, mannequins. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. We did not get the listing on the mannequin head in your neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that was a oh, Okay, so this was a faux pas, and um, there was a house in their neighborhood. And it was on the market, and it was known as the Mannequin Head House. The agent did not remove the mannequin heads from the windows. Of the dining room. What? Literally. Yeah. I don't know whether the seller was a home, you know, had a home um, hair salon. Maybe a wig business. We're not sure. We're not sure, but... Why in the world? I mean, it was very crazy, Halloween. So. Yes, but I think yeah. it was June. So I mean, I, I don't care. We would have hurt their feelings. We would have hurt their feelings, and we yeah. would have just removed them. All right, photo number three. That's the, that's grass? the front. That's the front porch or entrance to when you walk in the hall. Oh, the entrance. Oh, Ooh. okay. But you know, I love a pop of color. I know. You know, we would really run with that. Now, Seriously, that, really? Yeah, yeah. We just Maybe. bring. We would bring extra pillows to accentuate. Yes. You wouldn't keep that. Um, not white. No, we may move that furniture. We may, we may change chair, a little bit. The oh, chairs, I see. chairs are good. Yeah, yeah, it's a little. We take the table yeah. out. We bring in our own table, but yeah. we we accent that with I lots just of thought it was, I just thought it was interesting. That was the first the thing. Front, you know, the, exactly. the front, exactly. You know. Yeah, yeah. Bright and fresh. Yeah. yeah. So to our pillow count right now, and they all are the color coded in our storage we unit. We have one storage unit full of just pillows and bedspreads. And what's the last number on the pillows? Four hundred and fifty-two. Oh, no, I think more no. than that. Yeah. Oh, probably more than that now. We, we put home goods to shame with our pillow. Yeah, our pillow inventory. We take stock in pillows. I mean, literally, I really think we probably should pull some of our sellers and just say, "What did you think about our pillow count?" At your Husbands house? would hate it, but yeah. man, it photographs so well. The coolest <laughs> thing ever for the pillows was a um, a bachelor one day whose house we listed, and we loaded his house up with pillows. And literally the next day, he said, "I have to tell you." I had no idea how to put the pillows back after I went to bed. I took a picture of the pillows that you put on my bed so I could put them back in the yeah. same place. And now to this day, we suggest that everybody take yeah, pictures take of where picture. we put the pillows. Hopefully the house sells right away and they can just throw right. them on the floor. But um, yeah, pillows are a little crazy for us. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't know so, about the pillows. I don't there. know about the oh Yeah, I don't know about the pillows. Yeah. It's one of funny. those things when it takes you 15 minutes to go to bed uh, yes. just because you've got to remove all the pillows off the bed. <laughs> right, right. So I always say that the way you live is not the way that we stage, right? The staging is all about the photography. It's all about the internet. It's all about how people are looking at the homes online first. So the way you stage and the way you live are two totally different things. Well, right. this is a good one for the next one. All right, let's are you go. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, it's going to be a challenge to get into that room. Yeah. Yeah. That's the flow. <laughs> my son likes like to scale sofas from the back, so that would work well for him. Oh, but. my gosh. So we do. What would you do differently here? Well, first of all, we would probably remove the oriental carpet. Yes. And that is, it, it's really hard because most of our sellers know that they love it. And I have them myself. I can't get rid of them. 
and nobody wants them, but they know in the pictures, once we show them the before and afters of things that we can bring in, you know, it just neutralizes it so much more and it takes a lot of age off. And, and then to that, to the point about that photo, moving the furniture around is something that we do constantly. Moving men are our, you know, our sole the survivor, that little, little discs that you move everything on. I mean, we can move a buffet, you know, you know, if we need to. So, but moving things around is definitely something that we, and, mm -hmm. and you know what, I will tell you with the exception of one elderly lady who came home and said, this is not my house. I don't want to live in here anymore. Um, I, I would say almost everyone has said, why didn't I think about this before? Right. Why didn't I move my furniture this way before? Oh my gosh, I love what you did. I wish I could live like this the rest of my life. You know, why do I want to move? And unfortunately, we don't stage our own homes. <laughs> that no, would be really we, cool if we I, did. I, I will freeze her there because nobody staged. Jana started staging homes and we went to sell our first home. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> this was 20 years ago. We go to sell the first house and she decides... Hey, I'm going to stage this thing for you. She walks through the house with Jennifer. They make a list of everything in the house that needs to be moved. Half of which Janice gave us. I the know. trinkets, right. the so stuff hard. on the counters, the stuff on the tables. <laughs> Jennifer and I did everything she said on that list. Our house looked a hundred times better than it ever had. It looked bigger. It looked cleaner. And who it looked did we neater. sell that house to and how? We sold it to your brother. <laughs> At a bar. At on a, a napkin. Bar, on a napkin. That's <laughs> Writing true. a contract. True, true. It's a the family only, business, right? Yeah. Uh, the only time I've ever written a contract on a napkin. Yes. <laughs> what, really? Yeah. Truly. Truly. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Does yeah. that hold up in court? No. We still have the napkin, I think. I think yeah. it's still floating around somewhere. I think if frame it's in that. writing, yeah. frame that. I think if it's in writing, it's legal. Yeah. I don't I know. I'm so. not an attorney, but we sealed the deal so. with tequila shots. So yeah. it was yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> then it really was legal. Yeah. <laughs> but she was staging 20 years ago before Jennifer got involved. And it right. was something that immediately she had the eye for is how do I make these rooms look bigger? How do I make them look cleaner? How does everything kind of roll together to make the houses, especially when they sat on the market a lot longer than they do now, mm -hmm. how do I make mine stand out? And I think Janice's reputation with that is something that I talk about at every listing appointment now is the agents in our market know that our listings are going to look great when they go into them. They're right. going to show well online. They're going to show well in the pictures that you take. But more importantly, um, the reputation among people in our area is agents know our listings are going to show great because of what Janice and Jennifer do each time. All right. One last photo. You ready? Yep. Okay. This is fun. Master shower oh oh what's on the ground well we would take the color away for sure right can you shower with those things what is on the on floor there? i don't get the concept of like yeah. why is what is this, it it's not reality it doesn't look very functional oh my god is that truly they, in a listing yeah these are listing photos wow oh my gosh and so they really are listing photos that have been online i mean and the this agent. is just bad. I just Googled just bad, bad listing yeah. photos. Oh, my gosh. I will Staging. say, we, we could do this. And with this, there is, I like, waste a lot of time on TikTok. And uh, there is a TikTok person, I can't think of the name, and goes through listings. And just crit critique some? Unbelievable. You can't even believe this is on the market type listings. Like, oh, to toilet I do planted that every by the day. front door. <laughs> They're like through the well, United States. Then we need yeah. to bring back maybe every once in a while realtors reacts. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Session. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yep. I mean, I, that's I think, one of those. I think we do plan to maybe, you know, take a couple of rooms at some point as we go through them, right? And uh, maybe show, you know, what we're suggesting and what we're not. And you right. know, we don't come across too much, you know, uh, you know, too, too many people closing the door on us, literally. Right. So most people do, right? You know, um, do listen to us. So I think um, staging is kind of a broad term for what you guys do, just kind of from a project management standpoint is whether it's carpets or think about things like, you know, getting yeah. the house ready to go on the market. Mention a couple of those things that kind of go into your staging thoughts. Yeah. Well, a staging thought about that is, you know, which leads up to that is uh, I was called in for a listing appointment after a house had been on the market for quite some time with another agent. And uh, during the listing appointment, I was just on the, on the second time in when the house has been listed for a while, you just have to be honest. You know, I mean, you can't beat around the bush. These people are expecting you to sell the house and they want to know why it didn't sell. I literally sat there and told them why it didn't sell. The paint colors were horrendous. Everything needed updated. The furniture needed to be moved around. 
And um, at that, I was very gentle about it. I'm pretty, you know, I, I think easygoing on them. But um, literally, the gentleman escorted me out of the house and said, okay, I've heard enough. You can leave now. They, they escorted me out of the house by my hand. You can leave now. It was like kind of a bouncer look. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. And I went, well, well, uh, uh, are you going to call me? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I call you? What time can I expect a phone call from right. you? When will you be making your decision? And um, I left there literally with my hung, head hung, hung so low. Uh, I thought, what did I do wrong? I didn't want to offend anyone. But, you know, I really was there to tell them why it hadn't sold. And literally the next day at noon, I got a phone call. And I'm sorry, but it was an email and said, you've got the listing. No one's ever talked to me like you talked to me. <laughs> and I appreciate your honesty. We're going to do everything you say. And literally, we put the house on the market. We did have them invest some money in some painting and all of that. I promised him we'd get that money back. We upped the price on it, and we sold it like the first weekend on the market. Yeah. So thank God. <laughs> I mean, it was like now the pressure was on, you know, when I got the listing. But um, And we do have kind of a, a formula for what we ask mm -hmm. people to do as far as kind of staging goes yeah. or upgrading before it goes on the market. The percentage right. of the home value, things like yeah, that. We like to tell them that, you know, unless we can guarantee that they're going to get a two to one value back mm -hmm. on what we suggest that their investment be. Um, you know, that we're not going to suggest it. I mean, changing a bathroom, renovating a bathroom to put it on the market <clears throat> is not going to get your money back. Painting, lighting, um, sometimes new carpet if it's needed. Uh, and then, you know, we'll, we'll bring in the, you know, the people to do all the estimates. We project manage everything for them. It makes it easy. The, the, I think the biggest dilemma with a lot of sellers is they just don't know where to get started. You know, it's overwhelming for them. And we try to take the pressure off of them and say, we can get you estimates. If you have your own contractors, that's great. You know, please use them. But when they do, it's more painful for us because Correct. if we control the timeline for all of the contractors, we know when the painter needs to get there and when the window washer needs to get there and who needs to get there in a timely manner. So um, we get no cut on that. We get, no. I don't even get any freebies from these people. <laughs> they don't clean, they don't paint my house for free. Um, anyway, but it's, um, we, we do, you know, it's pretty mathematical the way we'll go about it to tell them, you know, with that investment. Most of our sellers, now this was up until the bubble of, you know, 2022, uh, people didn't have to put as much into the house, but most of our sellers are putting about, you know, 10%, five to 10% back into the sale of their home, you know, on a, um, you know, on a $500,000 home, they're going to put, you know, $5,000 back in, sometimes 10, if they haven't modified things in 10 years. So, right. yeah. And I think sometimes um, people in this type of market will think, oh, wow, it's going to sell anyway. I don't have to do mm -hmm. these things. Um, and a lot of the discount brokers are in there and they just kind of throw the pictures out there and put the house mm -hmm. on the market. And does it sell in this market? Yeah, a lot of times it does. But I think what they're missing out on is that net sale where we might get them twenty or $30,000 right. more mm -hmm. if they the just next put 5000 into it or something. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because when rates were as low as they are, they're still low historically you know, people are willing to pay a lot more because it doesn't affect their payment to have it done. So, you know, when we see six, seven, 10 contracts, I think a lot of people will go a lot higher over the asking price. Mm -hmm. um, we want to get them in the door at a certain price, but if you have everything perfect, right. these guys will jump, they waive inspections, they'll waive appraisals, they'll do all of those things, but go a lot higher in the price to make sure that, you know, it's already done. And I don't think a lot of sellers realize that, that they're leaving money on the table if they don't do some of the little things that, that we ask to do. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely, you know, we can turn a house around and we never look back because, you know, you only have that one chance, obviously, to make that first impression. And sometimes when sellers go, no, I want to put it on the market, and then we've got to go back and stage it later, you're not going to get that money back. I mean, that, right. that's the hard part. And most of our most of the people who are looking to sell know that, you know, for a fact. Mm -hmm. But um but it is, you know, it's come a long way since, you know, staging first begun. It's not going to go away. So we've invested a lot in our staging company and, you know, what we do every day. So um, I think know. it's coming back more and more when yeah. they need to. So yeah, what's, what's your take on staging a vacant house? Do you stage it? Do you leave it? You know, unstaged. we did think? not used to stage vacant houses because we want, we wanted them to look clean and, you know, and new and fresh because obviously if it's a vacant house, it's going to require more 
upkeep and I mean more investment as far as painting and carpet and all that but now you know it's the photos you've got to tell the story with the photos the photos are everything you know when it comes down to somebody picking this house <coughs> to look at <coughs> that's why it's nice to have that's a really good time. <laughs> Oh, I've been uh, waiting. I've been I, waiting to hit that button. Uh, yeah. Sound oh effect was standing by. I feel like it's a real podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> the photos are everything. Um, so yeah, and a lot of times, just you know, perfect transparency here. We will stage depending on the size of the house. Uh, if it's a really large house, we will stage all the rooms on the first floor. And by staging a vacant house, we bring all the furniture in. The the lamps. That's about the, the only thing that I help with from a yeah. staging yes. standpoint yes. is. We still carry the furniture in. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, the only thing that I can say for the staging on, I think also lighting. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lighting point. is a huge thing. And so some of the houses that we go through or whatever that I see, it's like, man, I just wish the lighting was so much better. Right. 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 Because it's just not, it's like, you know. Cutting the front of the, gr- the the backyard and not the front yard. Right, right. You mean lighting as far as like lamp lighting or fixtures. just fixtures, fixtures or, or, even, yeah. or even like the color of the lights and some of that. Sometimes yeah, so we have a little discrepancy on that. I guess I'm gonna have to bow down to you. Soon. I, I want to do. I'm gonna do it like a. <laughs> Before, before, before and after type yeah. of thing on I photos only because like warm light, you yellow, know that <laughs> yellow does not work. Yeah, yeah. the cool blue. <sighs> Well, there's uh, there's lighting like a lo- lot of flippers will use. Um, um, it's natural lighting. Mm-hmm. It's or natural like so. It's, it's skin white. tone. It's more white. It's right. Like, and for right. the agreeable gray and some of the flooring right. and stuff like that, it just pops. Yeah. And it's like almost like I have to do nothing mm-hmm. to edit the photos. So when right. she wants the orange out. It's usually the light bulbs she chose. The incandescent light bulbs. Yeah. <laughs> I have a closet full of uh, a warehouse full of incandescent light bulbs. Just I'm in case they so really do go, go away. away. <laughs> this so, way. Well, this I don't know. Way. I don't know. I haven't told you, but I I Photoshop a lot of light bulbs for you oh, that are out I that do. I turn them back on. Right. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can make yeah. it look like they're on. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I know a lot of photographers do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll change my ways on that. I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but think, lighting is everything. You're right. And I yeah. think sometimes we'll run with a fixture that we love that we've seen that photographs really well right. um, in pictures. And poor Lives or Home Depot, we will go in every local store or even the beach on your travels. Oh, my gosh. And buy every single one. So if anybody is out there and wants a light, and it, we probably have it. Well, so. especially <laughs> if we know they're going to discontinue it. Yes. Because when we buy, when we purchase light fixtures for our clients, we try to get the biggest bang for the buck, the one that's going to look the best in the photos, show well in the house, and, you know, not charge a lot for it. So, um we order, we go from store to store in Richmond looking for these Bobby, my husband, her dad. Oh my gosh. We load up them when we find them. Yep, sure do. So so lighting is big. Um, well, and I think the key to that too, though, is that this is a service that we've always provided at no additional charge. Correct. There's a lot of people that will list a house and say, hey, I'm going to send my stager in. And then the next thing you do is you're renting furniture, you're changing light mm-hmm. fixtures yourself, you're doing all those things. We try to line it up for everybody so that it's done. We have it all set for them as they kind of walk through the door. It's just a menu of services. They're the decision maker in the process. The best part about staging, with all due respect to the sellers who stay in the house while we stage, is when a seller's gone. <laughs> so we do a lot of, um, there's a lot of controversy. Trial and error. Yeah. It's like, let's move this piece here. No, let's move it over here. No, let's take this down. Oops, we bumped that, but there's no di- damage to the wall. <laughs> you know, it's, um, we're pretty fast. We can stage a house. I think our maximum, maybe four or five hours. Typically it's not fast enough. What are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you talking about, Janice? Oh, you know, that's just the pillow fluffing when you show up. Well, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. I as think long she's as they also, listen to what I say, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I think Janice also has a um, reputation as a human level. So yes. right. if there's something eye. that's not quite right at the right height and completely even, it's going to take a couple more holes in the wall. Yeah. You, you, uh, do you remember the we were at a listing and you were we were oh, just finishing so exactly up. What you were to say? We were just finishing up. You're talking about level. Yeah. And she was trying to make the level of these two, um, the urns. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was oh. like on either side of the of the driveway. Right. And they were slightly <laughs> uneven. And you were finding rocks and, and putting. Cones. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, just, literally, I couldn't stand them off kilter. I mean, I, and he would go, let it go, let it go. And I would, no, you can't have one higher than the other. I mean, literally was finding, I, I think I squished so many pine cones trying to get those under those things. So, oh my god, She carries around a pocket full of shims. To yeah, make sure that shims are on my level friend. Yeah. Exactly. She, you should see us try to put a Christmas tree up and make that level. Wow. Shims and, are my friend. And the best is you could put a level up there. It could show completely level, but it's not level quite quite enough for no, her. Not quite enough sometimes. <laughs> that bubble must be off. I don't Come know. I was born with that gift. Wait, that house is unlevel. I was born with that gift. <laughs> Uh, it's a gift. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a curse. <laughs> My husband thinks it's a curse. They think it's a curse. But uh, so, anyway. we, we really haven't even brought Bobby up in this staging, but he's an integral yeah. part of your staging process. Yes, he re- definitely is. I mean, he is the power behind the scenes. You know, he's collecting all the all of the uh, faucets and fans and lighting from Lowe's. He has a employee discount there. I think they know the last three, the last four numbers of his card whenever he goes through. Yeah. Literally, we in, in a crazy market, we're literally at Lowe's every night. So, um, but, you know, that's our life and we love it. Right. And, um, you know, every now yeah. and then he'll... Bobby, be, yeah. Bobby retired from the military after 40 or... Right, so years to come to work staging with these two, yes. uh-huh. and uh, I think he works ten times harder than he ever did, kind of defending our country. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, uh, well, I always come until the tail end of it, and he looks like yeah. he's been just through the war, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> disheveled. That's why we don't like the sellers to be around because right. we do yell a lot, uh, but it's all loving. Jennifer, yells. Jennifer, I know. Jennifer, uh, nightmares. Yeah, I think there should be an on-site podcast where you just film this process. Right. Yeah. Right. Right, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it would. There's, uh, there's always the last. We call them detail oriented little tchotchkes. <laughs> there's always the. Should we put this here? Should we put that there? And you know, it's that last little piece that she just goes, "Let it go, mom. Let, let it, go. it go." No, we need one more apple in that bowl. Yeah. No, we need this. And the voice of reason yeah. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But yeah. Is that is that door being a quarter inch too far open going to keep this house from selling right. in the picture? Yes, it does. Yeah. Just, right. I know it. <laughs> so if you want detail oriented, obviously we, we take care it's, of those It things. might be a little bit of an OCD. I don't right. know. <laughs> well, so. I mean, it definitely shows, you know, and the helps and stuff with that. But, you know, um, I don't know. We it, make light of it. We, you know, we make light of it. I so. tell you all the time. It's not I tell you all the time. You're the, you're the top on detail for some, like... You know, there's people out there that don't even show up to the home. When I at see all. when I see cell phone pictures on a listing, I like, oh, oh my the worst. gosh! You could always tell a cell phone picture. It's vertical. There's borders on each side. You know, I mean, there are people that yeah. literally still go out and do cell phone pictures. So two weeks ago, or a couple weeks ago, or maybe I don't know, however long it was, I, the realtor told me, oh, the house was just staged. You can go and shoot it. You know, so I go there. And, you know, it's typical stage or whatever, nothing too crazy. I go upstairs to the bedrooms and both inflatable beds are un, are, are half on. Oh, like, my gosh. Like, so it looks like the back end just leaning down. Oh, <laughs> gosh. And I was like, I don't know what to do. Right, right. Oh. And it didn't, have, it didn't have like the auto plug in or that. Right, they were right. just cheapos or whatever. And I'm like, I'm not going to get down there and blow that, that thing up. I have no idea whose <laughs> lips have been on that thing. So I had to take their pillows. And build it up. And put it underneath oh. to do the best I can. Yep. Good idea. So goodbye pillows. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's always a concern when you're showing a house as a buyer's agent. You've got the kids floating around and it's you know it's a staged house. And uh, they take right. off upstairs and you've got people in every direction. Right. And you just know that one of those beds is going to be jumped on. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it's like, okay, do I remake this thing? How do I make like, uh, you know, you're taking right. out of things. Sometimes you'll see a lump. There's a cat underneath the comforter oh, yeah. or something we've, like we've that. We've staged around cats before. There yeah. are all <laughs> kinds of things that you worry about when those kids start running through the house and you know it's staged. You're like, yeah. oh my gosh, half of this stuff is fake. You know, the big right. TV that says props across it. And you're like, well, there's actually not a TV plug there. There's not a cable right, outlet. Fake so TV. hanging right. on your wall. Yeah. That's just right now. It's a piece of art. Right. Yeah. And don't ever think the sellers don't know every single thing that's moved or if they even walked into the room because they vacuumed and those vacuum marks, if they don't have footprints on them, we're going to hear from the sellers going, why didn't they walk in this room? Or there were kids in here that played with my children's toys. And oh, we try oh, to yeah. put the toys back, right. you know, if we're showing it or we or we're there with a buyer's agent, you know, it, it's pretty violating for a seller to come home, even though they expect that people are going right. to be through their house. You know, it's pretty violating to know that the kids have played with toys 
employees or they've used a toilet or you know, and we're in the age so. of cameras now so yeah. you have no yeah. idea where nanny cam oh. might be <laughs> how many times, jennifer how many times you go uh, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't yeah. Say that, that, now my eye is trained to look for cameras before <laughs> mm-hmm. we even kind of start our job. So yeah, we've yeah. we've been caught a couple of times, I'm sure. <laughs> but, oh yeah, uh, the discussing first, the the status of a house. But. The first time that you show, um, you know, new clients a house, and you walk up and you see that ring camera standing oh, yeah. there, you're just like. Hey, just by the way, I hope you realize that a lot of what we say and do, if you don't, if you don't want them to know it, don't say it in front Correct. of. Uh, until we walk back out of the house. Or I'm not of that social. I mean, I know social media, but they, she does bring me down because I, if no <laughs> one's there, I'm just. Well, I mean, it's instant now because they're they're on their phone watching. Yeah, as yes, it's they get that alert. Yes, and it's like it's real time. Yeah. They watch you know the saying? showing. They we staged the we'll house. Our, we sta- sorry, to we staged the house one time, and they had so many cameras. We ended up turning them around. Oh, oh, and be, well, <laughs> this is not on. Is that okay? This this fit. This is I can hear on. you. Yeah, it's on. It's what are you talking? What? I can't hear myself like I used to. I don't know. I it's, okay, it's, okay. It's recording. Yeah. We'll keep going. <laughs> Second podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, go with go with the camera story real quick. Uh, there were quite a few cameras, and and they were young people. Yes. Um. And yeah, we definitely turned them around, and I think didn't they call you in the middle of it? And no, said, they turned. Cameras- we, they turn. We turned them around just as if we were moving the furniture right, we kind of around. Like, Let's fade and it. And all of a sudden, you could hear this. It rotated and back. It rotated back. And then I got a call that said, um, y'all turn my cameras around. Oh, we did that by accident. I'm so sorry. You know, right. and literally, we didn't do it by accident. We did it on purpose. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, yes. They wanted their cameras turned back around. And then we got a story about the painter that we suggested that they use oh. um, talk too much because he listened to everything he said while he was painting to another painter. And... I don't know. Cameras are not our friend when it comes to that. So, yeah. but when you're people always have a right being to, recorded or yeah. always being listened to, yeah, yeah, it can I mean, be that's tough. the way it is these days. It yeah. is. Yeah. This it's is the, you know that's mm-hmm. how it is, and so, um, you know, it's a digital error. It is. I'm and, sure and we the, put a show on before for some clients. Just came on as we stage. So. Our <laughs> sellers definitely know now too how long somebody stays in a house because right. of the camera. So mm-hmm. you'll get a call that, hey, why were they only in the house for five minutes? We don't even know that yet. <laughs> we right. don't have any answers. We don't have any feedback yet. But mm-hmm. that seller has watched them walk in, walk out the door and you know, wants that immediate feedback because they know exactly what's happening in their home. Literally a couple of weeks ago, we had uh, called a seller, a, buy, a buyer's agent for feedback. And she said, oh, the house showed great. Just wasn't markup of tea, that sort of thing. We gave the feedback to the seller. We are still learning lessons after all of these years. The seller said, really? How did they know it showed so great? They sat on my porch and they never went in. And I went, what? And she said, I watched the whole thing on my ring camera. They never went in the house. So from now on, basically, you know, when we literally talk to the agent and we do to get our feedback it's going to be did you go into the house we're not going to tell our seller that you liked it or didn't like it if they didn't go in that's crazy yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and feedback i mean that that could probably be a whole nother podcast is kind of talking right. through the feedback that you get and how many questions that you have to ask beyond mm-hmm. just the did they like the house i think so many people just look at these we have these showing time apps and the feedback comes through how showed well priced right and i think a lot of agents take that and say hey, they really liked it. Well, right. then why aren't they buying it? What's the next question to ask with that feedback? Right, but, right. I mean, that, that's a whole other podcast. Comment yeah. below if you think this is, uh, you know, staging or not staging. You know, yeah, you staging know? or not staging. staging. Yeah. 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 We'd love so. to know. <laughs> I know we jumped a little bit into that virtual staging side of things. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Uh, yeah, it's becoming really, mm-hmm. really big. And I there's think. some good ones and bad ones. Yeah. You know? when, the, when the tables float on top of the carpet it's not a good one right you know right. you've got to have you need you to see the shadows the floor. And the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but yeah no the virtual staging is good I, you know just case in point i think as we learned through our virtual staging before you do have to disclose that it is virtually staged so when they do go in the house they don't expect anything and they don't expect that the house is going to look like that or you know anything so um, yeah your buyers have looked at those pictures they know what mm-hmm. they're expecting when they walk into the house so right. when that furniture isn't there and they just looked at it last night right you know online right. and they say well where's the furniture and you look a little closer some of the virtual staging is really really you yeah know, close yeah. to reality well and yeah. also you for me you have to tell me if you want to stage this room so i can shoot it 
a little differently to match the 3D or the 2D look of the, fo- oh, of the staging. Cool. So sometimes okay. yeah. I have to shoot it just a little bit different. Mm-hmm. So the, right. where the where the furniture will go, will go the bed will look right or right. whatever. So, so okay, you know those those are kind of key. Right, good deal. But well, good. Well, I think we've covered. All of our, definitely a lot more to come on staging. Uh, yes. Are you liking this, Janice? I do like it. Are you liking <laughs> it? I came in this morning going, we're not doing this. What are we doing? She looked I like she was, was going on a roller audio. coaster uh, when she first was, put those headsets on. I did not know it was going to be video, <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. I hope you listen to us. I hope you'd like us. Microphone. Though, Microphone. And I hope yeah. you come back to the next podcast. <laughs> Take it away, Jennifer. And don't forget to like and follow and comment below things, any topics that you would like us to cover or, um, you know, anything in the future. So we'll be bringing you along on this ride. And we're, we're reminiscing over stories. So we're going to have some really cool stories for you guys too. Yeah. yeah also sure. chime in if you want us to talk about something that maybe something that we're not talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. We've got really great stories about our moving van. That'll be cool. Yeah. That'll... On the next podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Thank you guys. All right. Thanks for Thanks. listening. We hope you've enjoyed today's episode of The Real Realtors of the 804. If you have a question you would like to ask Janice or her team, please reach out to them at realtorsofthe804 at gmail.com or 804-921-9995.